Welcome to The Invisible Man, a movie that features a dude that is so toxic, heinous, and down bad that he decides to fake his own death and torment his ex-girlfriend while invisible. Where is he at? I don't see him. Now this is a movie that I've always thought was pretty memorable ever since I first saw it in theaters. And I think that's really because it's able to take a very interesting premise and execute it very well. Which on the surface is pretty simple. An invisible dickhead ruins his ex-girlfriend's life and everyone thinks she's crazy because she sounds crazy. You've probably seen a story similar to this before. The crazy woman that no one believes. I mean this exact movie has been done before. But I think this movie provides a fresh take on the concept and effectively tackles the themes of abuse and toxic relationships. So today we're going to talk about the insanity that is the invisible menace. So right off the bat, this movie starts off by injecting paranoia right into your veins. Because we see our main character, Cecilia, trying to escape her boyfriend Adrian's house, which had to be carefully planned out. She drugged his ass with some diazepam, she had her getaway bag ready, and this is because she is not trying to escape from an ordinary man. This is Walmart Batman. I mean, he's literally a tech genius that specializes in optics. Dude has a whole bat cave in his house. Like, what the hell is that? And real quick, I just want to say that this whole escape sequence, like many other parts in this movie, is shot and edited in a way that just makes you anxious. What the fuck? Combine that with a nice little eerie sci-fi score, and you get moments that just leave you stressed as hell. Like, why is this happening right now? Is the psycho coming after her? So after accidentally setting off a car alarm while trying to free a dog from his electric collar, Cecilia escapes from Adrian's evil lair and runs into the woods where she meets her sister to get away. But unfortunately, she drops the bottle of diazepam that will definitely be used to drug her later in the movie. And she also has to deal with this. Go. <laughs> Open the what is happening? What do you mean, what is happening? Obviously, this man is insane. Cecilia, open the door. Bruh. He really busted a person's car window and tried to pull Cecilia out of the car. Dude pretty much said, Your little pussy belongs to me. So we fast forward two weeks where Cecilia is living with her friend James and his daughter Sydney. And we learn that the bozo Adrian has apparently removed himself from the planet, which is obviously a lie because he's the invisible menace. We also get some context about Adrian and Cecilia's relationship. Specifically how Adrian used to hit Cecilia, was extremely controlling over everything she did, and that Cecilia took birth control without him knowing because if she had a baby with him she wouldn't be able to leave. The fact that he busted that car window makes so much sense now. So Cecilia and her sister meet with Adrian's brother because he's in control of Adrian's estate. And they find out that Adrian had it in his will that Cecilia would get $5 million contingent on her not committing crimes and being mentally stable. So of course Adrian's plan is to give her 5 million racks and then make her go crazy. And this brings us to Adrian's menace activity, which slowly gets more extreme over the course of the movie. But it starts off pretty subtle. He's watching Cecilia in the house. He grabs a knife from the kitchen and burns her breakfast. Bro, why'd you have to fuck up the food like that? Now I want to bring up the camera work here because I feel like that's what really brings attention in these scenes, along with Elizabeth Moss's great acting of course. The camera will just focus on an open space, which as a viewer is pretty creepy because we don't know exactly what to focus on, and then slowly pan as if it's tracking the movement of the invisible menace. Then the movie will cut to a shot of Cecilia that just makes her feel isolated, as she gets alarmed by a small noise and looks into the space, having no idea that she's looking directly at Adrian. This is like when you're just chilling in your house and hear a random noise so you investigate it to make sure there's no weird shit going on. Except there's actually an invisible dude walking around your house, probably taking fat shits in your bathroom when you're not there. So as I previously mentioned, Adrian's acts get increasingly crazy as the movie progresses. This includes taking pictures of Cecilia while she's sleeping and drugging her with diazepam so she flops at her interview. Oh my God. Oh my God. And of course he intentionally makes himself known at points and leaves clues so Cecilia will eventually realize that he's invisible and sound crazy to whoever she tries to tell. He has figured out a way to be invisible. <laughs> what can I say? He's sick, twisted, and a little demented. I mean the man literally punches Sydney out of nowhere so her and James will turn against Cecilia. So when Cecilia is left at the house by herself, she gets fed up and is like, Hey Adrian, stop being so pussy. But when he doesn't come out, Cecilia thinks to call his phone and hears that shit buzzing in the attic. She then goes up to the attic and of course finds Adrian's phone along with the knife he stole from the kitchen. Then Adrian texts the phone like the goofy bastard that he is, so Cecilia gets sussed out and goes to the opening of the attic. And I guess she gets a feeling that Adrian is on the ladder looking at her because she just throws a bucket of semen on him. Yeah! 
She then proceeds to come down from the attic to go after him. And honestly, I don't know why she did this. This puts her at an extreme disadvantage because this dude is invisible. Yeah, he has paint on him, but you could probably guess he was gonna wash it off. And even if he didn't wash it off, I feel like she was in a way better position in the attic because then he would have to use the ladder to get to her and she would have a better idea of where he's at. But she doesn't and this happens. Oh, hell no, man, what the fuck? <laughs> And side note, I know this is the way that it should be, but I gotta say that the score here matches the scene so well. That's pretty sick. Next, Cecilia escapes from the house and is able to get an Uber in like 10 seconds. Seriously, that shit was fast as fuck. She then goes to Adrian's house to try to find evidence of his menace activities and actually finds an extra invisible suit. This man really has multiple suits so he can swap them out when one gets dirty. I know there's shit stains in there. But she's unable to take the suit with her because Adrian comes home and she has to make another escape. So low key she would have been better off just recording the suit with her phone but hey, that's just me. Then Cecilia calls her sister and sets up a meeting at a restaurant so she can tell her about the invisible suit she found. And she thinks they're safe because they're in a public place. But then we get one of the most jaw-dropping scenes that I have ever seen in the theater. It has cameras and it somehow... What? Bruh. What? How did he know she was at this restaurant? I don't know, he's Walmart Batman. How did he put the knife in Cecilia's hand so smoothly? No idea. So at this point, Cecilia looks like a psychotic killer, so she's put in a mental hospital. And she also finds out that she's somehow pregnant. I know, she's down atrocious. Then Adrian's brother comes to see her and tells her that Adrian knew she was taking birth control and swapped it out with something else. And that all this can go away if she has the baby. So this dude was working with Adrian the whole time. But Cecilia pretty much tells him to fuck off and calls him a bitch. You're just the jellyfish version of him. Everything but the spine. Yeah, 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 yeah. I ain't gonna lie, I'm getting cooked. <laughs> she even finesses one of his pens, which she later uses to act like she's about to off herself because she knows Adrian wants her to have the baby. And when Adrian exposes himself, she stabs his ass like crazy. There you are. Stupid. 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 But then he goes full Batman mode. Stun gun right to the throat. Her throat gets chopped. He got the shit slapped out of him. I don't know why you're running so hard, bro. Denied! Sit down! Immediate CTE. Lay down! What do you mean, lay down? Did you not just see what happened to your partners? Now you have no kneecap. Stupid! And then this is just evil. He acts like he's gonna shoot him, then walks away and shoots him anyway. Bro thought he was Joker. You're not that guy, pal, trust me. You're not that guy. Then Cecilia chases after Adrian, but he's still kinda invisible, so he stops her and says that instead of killing her, he's just gonna kill James and Sydney to torment her even more. So this man goes to the house, beats James' ass, and tries to kill Sydney. But luckily, Cecilia comes and kills him. Let's go. But when Cecilia takes off his mask, we find out that it's not Adrian, but instead his dick riding brother, Tom. So when Adrian left the mental hospital, he must have told Tom to get the other invisible suit and kill Sydney and James. And this dumbass actually tried to do it. He was really gonna murder people because his brother told him to. Bro, get a grip. Well, you can't now because you're dead, but still. Ooh wee, look what that money maker bitch do. Then we cut to the FBI pulling up to Adrian's house where he's made it look like his brother kidnapped him. So in the end, he was willing to sell out his own brother. This dude is an insane manipulator. And of course, Cecilia sees right through it. This is what he does. He makes me feel like I'm the crazy one. So she goes to Adrian's house wearing a wire to try to get him to admit everything he did. But she makes it seem as if she wants to get back with him. But this dude is psychotic, so he doesn't admit anything. So she takes it upon herself to snag one of Adrian's invisible suits and force him to slit his own throat on camera. So it looks like he ended himself. And then walks out like an absolute beast. Adrian, rest in piss. <laughs> 